Live from New York City, it's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We're on the ground at the uh, Big Data NYC event 2014, and right now it's actually the fifth birthday party for the Cube we're celebrating. I'm here with Amy O'Connor. She was just on our Capital Markets uh, panel. Great panel. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be here, and happy birthday to you guys. Oh, well, thank you. So I thought one of the interesting things that came up in the panel discussion was their comment about flyover country, and, yeah. and I loved your response. It said, I'm glad you get a fly back and forth, but I actually have to land and, and really talk a bit, little bit about people that are starting to really put the stuff into play that are not in. California or New Absolutely. York City. Yeah, there was an impression in the room that um, big data was being used in California, maybe a little bit in the New York markets, and then you know somewhat of the DC type of stuff. So there was a comment made about how people just fly over that whole middle of the country because absolutely nothing's happening there. And I clearly remember spending two weeks in the Midwest in February, because you can't forget the Midwest in February, where our sales team hauled me from customer to customer and we had some wild conversations. Some really great stuff hang out going on out there. I mean, one customer I can mention is Caterpillar. There's a lot happening in the agricultural space, a ton of stuff happening in the retail space where people are starting to get going with it. Then I was able to go down south a little bit, oil and gas, little railroad stuff down in the Texas area. Right, right. So yeah, it's you don't fly over the country anymore. You know, you could almost maybe take a bus. Right, there you and go. And just go from customer to customer. Well, it's consistent because uh, Bill Schmarzer, I don't know if you know Bill, affectionately known as the Dean of Big Data from EMC that we have on quite a bit. And he's from Iowa, and so he likes going to visiting uh, relatives. But he's always, like every week, he's out visiting middle of the country places, hardcore manufacturing, kind of helping them on their big data journey. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, so a big show for Cloudera. You guys are obviously a headline sponsor at Strata Hadoop World. So, how are you uh, feeling about the show? Any big announcements? Ooh. What's the vibe over there? So, the, you know, every year it's different. My first year I was a customer. Um, that was 2011. I was on the Cube that year. And um, my, no, my Cloudera sales rep, because I was a customer, met me at the door with my badge. This year it's like 5,000 people. The place is packed. Um, there's so much going on. And it, there's actually so much going on. You can't even make wait your way around the exhibit booth floor and get to sessions at the same time there's just so much going on and everybody's there so I always say an indicator that something major is happening in the market is when you have that many vendors showing up for a show with big booths so we have 700 employees we have 1200 partners that's a very oh, odd wow. ratio yeah and we yeah. care about them all right right all right so let's shift gears a little bit one of the things we're passionate about is women in tech you're a woman you've been in tech like you said you were at Nokia before so you've been on that side of it now you flipped over to this side we were just at the Grace Hall celebration mm. of women in tech. Actually, interviewed uh, Maria right after she came off oh. the keynote with oh, uh, yeah, the fun one. with Satya. Yeah. Right, it was, it was uh, it's a good interview. You have yeah. to check it out. But I just since I've got you here, to take the minute to uh, to give your kind of perspective of, of being a woman in technology. A little bit about your path and journey and advice you might give to either young women or people that have young girls or young women about what they should do if they want to pursue a career down you know, this path. There's a great opportunity for everyone in tech and I think a lot of people get scared away from it at a young age to not do science for example. Um, this industry needs leadership. There's a lot of great women that provide leadership. There's a lot of really bright brains out there and you know what the huge benefit is? There are no lines in the ladies room when you come to these conferences. <laughs> Except at the Grace one. Yeah, the Grace Hopper one would have lines. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by and thanks for your participation in the panel. That was great. I'm Jeff Frick. We're uh, on the Cube at our fifth birthday party celebration at Big Data NYC.